Hello everybody, it's Elena. The project I'm going to share with you today is this altered trinket box. And, uh, well, I will not mention and point out every single element of the project because it would be extremely boring. Instead, I decided to show and tell what I've used for this project. Well, I'm not an experienced crafter and um, I'm sure everybody out there knows exactly what to add, what, uh, what to use for a project like this one. But uh, I love and need every single tip I can get, so I decided that maybe someone can get some tips from, uh, from me if I show exactly what I've used to make this box. First of all, I had this sturdy cardboard box which contained a mobile phone and I just love the way the lid lifts. It, it's very... It fits very snugly, so I couldn't decorate these sides. And uh, I used the box to store, sorry, some collectibles and some tags. I got the, the idea on how to decorate the box by this card that was in Jamie Lee kit, along with others. Showing women joining the army and working in factories during World War II and uh, I decided that would be the theme of my box. First of all, I covered the si all the sides of the box and its bottom with this paper uh, by La Stamperia, which is an Italian brand. It has many formulas and drawings and letters, numbers on it, but this color was too light for the battered and old look I wanted to give to the box. So I distressed the paper using brush, brush the corduroy and I insisted on the edges and corners with gathered twigs. All the other images you will see, little images, have been cut from this stash of paper by Tim Holtz. And uh, there are also, as you can see here, so this, is, this, is, this clock is by Tim Holtz, for example, and so is the image of this soldier, and uh, this machinery, they are by the, the paper, by, they are all from the, the stash of paper by Tim Holtz. Of course, there are many clocks and gears, because it is about factories, and uh, the funny part is that I bought uh, like three or four bags of cogs and gears, uh, maybe six months before I started to craft, just because I love them. I found an online shop selling them, so I love them, and I decided to buy them because I love steampunk, and I love Victorian steampunk and industrial, so okay, I bought them, I hoarded them, and now they come in handy. And uh, along with, co with cogs and gears, there are many hardware elements like hooks, screws and these things, I don't know what they are, but I created a sort of, uh, of a factory here with chimneys and uh, they come from my endless stash. Yeah, this is just a small part of it because I also have another bag full of these things and uh, as you can see they're all rusty um, my husband used to work in a factory so uh, since they were rusty they were meant to be thrown away and he could collect many for me and uh, i decided at a certain point to add some feminine touch to the box because it is about women working in factories so i decided to add this uh, beautiful Cabochon, glass cabochon with the image of a lady and on one corner I glued some pieces of genuine vintage trim, it's more lace and I created a little bow using twine and I glued it on top and also there are some little pieces of uh, um, trim and uh, ribbon, here's some Chinese braid 
just to give some more interest to the project. It is twine and this thing, it is like a braid. And here and there, on the corners, like here and here, there's a sparkly one here. I've used this set of washi tape by Tim Holtz as well. And um, then I needed a handle, of course, to lift the lid. So I decided to use this ancient drawer handle. When I moved here uh, in the countryside, uh, it is a house of my family. It was built um, nearly 250 years ago. And I found very uh, interesting, interesting things belonging to the past. I collect the, collected them all. I didn't throw them away. And in this case, this handle is really useful. It's the perfect size. It's sturdy. And uh, uh, it had a color I didn't like, it was too dark, so I put, uh, I put on it just a very light coat of white acrylic gesso and then I just added, uh, I buffed it with this, which can be used as a, it is acrylic painted with uh, paint, sorry, acrylic paint with glitters. It can be used to, for dimensional writing. Or, uh, like in this case, you can put some on, some on your finger and rub gently the object you want to. And uh, this brought out also the, um, the roses, the flowers of the handle. And uh, the last thing I've used is just to create the, the idea of the entrance to the fabric and also for this circle I've used a bar, something I found in the bag of cutoffs I bought from Fermi Design and it is a bag really full of things and uh, the cutoffs go from very tiny ones to good size ones and they come in every possible shape and in this case I've used, I've used the circle, I distressed it all because I didn't want to be, also on the back, I didn't want it to be, uh, the color to be too light. And, uh, well, I think this is all about it. Oh, just one last thing, I embossed with um, walnut stain uh, the two numbers which should be 40, I just put a dot in between because 40 is the year my mother was born and also, unfortunately, the year the war started in Italy and so I thought it, good, it went well with the whole project. So this is it. I hope you liked it. Thanks a lot for watching, have a wonderful week. Bye bye.